There she is. Lodged in there pretty good. Stupid thing. Welcome to the vlog guys. It is a beautiful day outside for once here in PA. That is an extreme shocker, I know. Flag is blowing. It's gorgeous outside. Truck is dirty. Horrible. That's just bad. Can't be that way. Um, and I just noticed earlier, if you can see right there and down the doors, there's fingerprints all over all of them. There's a really bad one. And I've been seeing a lot of stuff about jam handles lately. That might be a good thing for me to get because that annoys me to no end. I hate seeing fingerprints. So we're going to have to change that. So as I've said in the, oh, what do we, what we got here? What's going on here? Another stray dog. This stray dog is here all the time and she acts like she lives here. You should probably go home, shouldn't you? All right, well, anyway. So moving on to what I was saying, uh, the last vlogs, or last one of the last vlogs I should say, I said about the uh, doing a three inch body lift, removing the inch and a half, going with 37 inch tires and 22 inch wheels. Uh, I think I wouldn't go with 22 inch wheels. I have seen a lot of those with 22 inch wheels and I, I don't know, it just looks weird to me. So keeping the 20s with a 37 inch tire, and possibly removing the inch and a half body lift thrown in a three inch. I have been thinking about this a lot. Uh, I didn't get really a whole lot of feedback about that, but I have been thinking about it a lot and I'm, I'm getting real close to doing it and, and considering it hard. Uh, it's just, then I know for sure I would have to re-gear. So it's a lot of time, a lot of money involved with doing that. So it's, it's getting there. I'm just gonna, Keep thinking about it a little bit more. I have seen some pictures with, with rams like this that did do a three inch body lift with a six inch suspension lift and have 20 inch wheels with 37s and they look good. So it definitely, I'm, I'm getting closer to maybe doing that. Uh, just gotta get everything together and go from there and try and figure out where this stray dog lives. And yeah, so also we got a Blue Lives Matter sticker on the back window. Obviously, I'll be completely honest with you, you know, yeah, there are police officers out there who do stupid things and maybe have shot people, whatever. Whatever the case may be that, that they shouldn't have done, whatever. But at the same time, there's instances where, yeah, they kind of had rights. So, you know, I support our police. If, if we wouldn't have police, our world would be, who knows? Who knows where we'd even be right now if we wouldn't have police officers protecting everybody. So, yeah, I mean, they sometimes they'll pull you over for tint, whatever. I've, I've had it happen. Yeah, it might make you a little mad, but you know, I still support them. Um, so that's basically where I stand with that. And like I said, if, if we wouldn't have police, our world would be freaking crazy. So yeah, those are, those are the plans. Um, I want to get on that remote start that I've had for probably six, seven months now. So you should probably stop procrastinating that and, and get on that and actually actually do something for once rather than wait two weeks to do a vlog i mean let's be honest it's been quite a while since i've done one so um i'll do a little review here on this antenna and like i said i do like the look of it and everything the only issue i do seem to have is as far as picking up radio stations and reception it's it's decent i mean it's okay it's just when you get out of range as far as like maybe another town or two towns away, like where you would have picked up stations before with the old antenna or the stock antenna, it starts to get staticky and then it, it doesn't necessarily pick it up. So I, like I said, I don't use my radio too much, so it's not really an issue for me, but if somebody strictly uses like your radio stations and your, and your local stations all the time, I might not suggest doing something like that. Um, but I mean, it works for me, it works for what I do. If, if I go that far out of town anyway, I probably wouldn't pick up the station. It, I don't know. 
So if you use your radio all the time, I use Bluetooth and iHeart and stuff like that and Spotify. So I don't really ever use my radio unless I'm lazy. So, and if it starts getting staticky, I'll put my phone in anyway. So just a little review on that and heads up if anybody's looking for that and go on that route. It's, it's okay. It's not the greatest. And I, I kind of knew that in buying it too, because I did read some re reviews on it. So basically now where we're at is we're going to go get this washed and get it all cleaned up because they want nice the next few days and there's not supposed to be any rain, which is a shocker because it's been raining and having really bad weather lately. So we'll get that done, get it washed, get it cleaned up. Get it looking nice for once because it looks like absolute crap right now if you can see that my wheels are just horrible i won't even go close to those um so yeah we'll get that done and see you when it's cleaned <laughs> just to get dirty again. Shiny. For like, I don't know, an hour. Cause as we've discussed before, my driveway sucks. All right, so I have had a remote start for the truck for a long time now, probably about six months. And I have just procrastinated the crap out of this because I really just didn't want to do it. So here it is. And take it out of the box. I mean, I have it flashed and everything. It's ready to go. Um, the, the firmware and everything is already already on it. It's ready to go, downloaded. Taking it out of the box, it just looks like it's something that's going to make my brain hurt tremendously. And I don't even want to do it. But we are going to attempt it uh, at some point. I don't know when maybe maybe tomorrow i'll attempt it but i mean supposedly it's plug and play according to when where i bought it it said plug and play but i'm really confused as far as that because none of that looks plug and play to me i mean yeah there's like there's a plug okay there's more plugs but then you come over here and you got these three wires that are just hanging here nothing um i didn't look in to see what they go to so i'm not really sure so with let's add some light on the subject here with that being said with these three wires which i didn't read in there yet to see exactly what they go to this bag here is just nothing but bare wires there's one plug and there's a whole bunch of bare wires in there like, this makes me want to dive off of a cliff. Like, I don't even know where to begin with any of this. And messing with my ignition is just even worse. Like, I don't even know what to do here. This is, this is horrible. And I have seen some other ones uh, on Rampage on Facebook. That is, they claim it's completely plug and play. Um, it's, it's a different brand, I think, but their instructions, I mean, what is this? This isn't even, this doesn't tell me or show me anything. Like, 
This does nothing for me whatsoever. Just, I don't even know. I'm about half shut down with it right now, so that's probably why I can't do anything with it. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get it installed because why not? Why would you not want to have a remote start? Let's be honest. So yeah, we're definitely gonna we're gonna get on that and hopefully not screw anything up. Yeah. Alright guys, so we got our little brain of the operation here. We got that all plugged in. We got our T-harness plugged in up here under the dash. Uh, going to our ignition switch and our ignition harness. And so we got all that plugged in. We got a couple other wires here that I'm not really sure what they're for. Uh, I looked up some other videos and everything on this particular kit. And they were only ever plugging just these into the brain and using the T-harness. Um, so I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's give it a try. I already flashed everything and programmed everything and synced everything to that so it learned it it learned the vehicle so we should be able to go and test it out oh yeah there we go that is great that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I did not think it was going to be that easy or that simple. That's awesome. I'm really pleased with how easy that was. I'm not going to lie. Um, the only thing that does maybe concern me and maybe it's just things I don't need, but they did send these other wiring stuff. This one's a, a hood latch or a hood switch. I'm not really sure what that is. There's a couple other wiring stuff, but I don't. I honestly don't see why I need any of this other stuff. I'm not trying to have any other accessories or horns or whatever else that I need to have on that kit. So I'd say we're pretty well good. I think we're good to go and we have a remote start now. And it was actually a really simple installation. Uh, it worked well. Everything just plugs right in, uh, regardless of, minus the the other plugs in there and the bare wires that I have. Other than that, everything was pretty cut and dry. And of course, douchebag locked the truck, left his keys on the workbench. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this vlog. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.